The public stack portfolio currently at 81,189. In today's video, we're talking about a stack that's not in the portfolio, but I have to talk about it because it's down 32% after hours. We're talking about Snapchat. This thing does not have the best luck after earnings. The past seven earnings, it has been down. High level, they missed slightly on revenue. They came in at 1.36 billion, a 5% growth rate over last year. And they did beat non-GAAP EPS, which we'll talk about in a little bit. One of the positives that they did see was user growth, 10% year-over-year year, up to 414 million users. Looking at the financial slides, let's talk about a couple things. Outside of the user growth and the small revenue growth, the reason that doesn't necessarily line up is because their average revenue per user was down 5%. And something else that I don't love is their gross margins are down 9%. So we see a higher increase in costs related to infrastructure costs, content costs, advertising is pretty stable. So with lower margins, that means it will be harder to squeeze profits out, which they're already struggling with. They're currently losing Losing $248 million in the latest quarter turns out to be 15 cents per share in losses. And then they get to that eight cents in positive net income by excluding things like amortization, stock compensation which is a little bit of a cheat code when it comes to these stocks that pay stock compensation because they don't count it as an expense. But what ends up happening is their outstanding shares increases over time. If they do become profitable in the future, that profit is shared amongst more stocks. So if you're a shareholder, that kind of hurts you in the long run. If we look to their guidance for next quarter, they're expecting around $1.1 billion in revenue, around 11 to 15% increase year over year. So you have a company that has slowing growth, lower margins, and has net loss. Losses, and you're seeing that reflected in the stock price after hours.